Hey guys, what's going on? Holden here. Um, so today I'm bringing you a unboxing slash review of the Leaf Eye Bridge. It is a mobile memory, so it's like for your iPhone. You plug it in, it's like a USB drive, and you can add photos, music, uh, videos, movies, whatever you'd like. So let's get started here. Alright, so here it is, the Leaf Eye Bridge. I have the 32 gigabyte um, version of it. Uh, it works iPod, iPhone, and iPad. Uh, I believe there is Android ones. I have the one for the iPhone. So, uh, it just says Levi Ridge, mobile memory. It has a picture of it in the back. So in here it just explains what it all is. So, it backs up your uh, downloads, backup and download photos and videos on the go. You can share files quickly between Lightning and USB devices. You can play music uh, and videos directly from the Leaf iBridge. And it has a flexible design, works with your devices and cases. Um, so yeah, this is it. Let's get started here. That popped out. Alright. So, here it is. Alright, so it just says leaf there. Uh, and this is it, guys. It's just a small... Uh, USB drive here, so this is a USB, obviously plugs into your computer, and this is the Lightning, uh, obviously plugs into your iDevice. Uh, it says Design in California um, there on it, if you can, if it wants to focus. There you go. And then it says 32 gigabyte there, it has a little Leaf logo there. It's pretty nice. It's they're made of this nice silicone material here, so it won't scratch or get scuffed or anything, so that's really nice. Alright. Alright. Here we got what looks like a little cap for it. <laughs> Stick it in there, there you go. Looks like you can probably fit that around your belt loop if you wanted to, or something like that. It just kind of protects it here and stuff, so let's. Plug this in here. Got my iPhone 6 here. I'm gonna plug it in. Alright, so it's plugged in here. Now, we're, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna swipe it. We're gonna swipe it like we're opening the phone. We're gonna go into the phone here. Now it's gonna open the app. If you don't have the app, it'll open the app store for you guys to download said app. Um, so here we are in the app. So we have multiple options here to choose from. We got the transfer files button, the content viewer, the camera, and then the settings here at the bottom. So the first thing we're going to go to here is transfer files. So we have three options here. We got the iPhone photos to the iBridge option, the iBridge to the iPhone photos option, and the file manager. So we're going to go to the iPhone iPhone photos to the iBridge. So we're going to select this photo here um, of when I went skiing the other week and we're going to press this button in the bottom center with the two arrows pointing to it. So we're going to have this option come up one will say copy to iBridge storage, one will say move to iBridge storage uh, we're going to press move, copy will copy it so there's two copies, so there's one on the iPhone, one on the iBridge itself uh, move will move it from the iPhone to the iBridge. There won't be a copy on your iPhone anymore. So we're going to press move here. Alright, so once we press move here, it'll load up. We'll have this little loading here, and then I'll come up with this option that says allow iBridge v4 to delete this photo. We're going to press delete. Uh, don't allow, we'll keep it on our phone and it won't go through. So we'll press delete here. All right, there we go. We deleted. So now it's gone from our camera roll on our phone, and it'll be in the iBridge. So we'll go to the content viewer here, look at the photos, and there it is, right there. <coughs> so that's the photo we just copied over or moved over. For, sorry. So now we're going to go back all the way back to transfer files, and we're going to go iBridge to iPhone photos. So this will transfer our photos from our iBridge to our iPhone if you want to do that. So we're here in our in our uh, iBridge photos, here's the photo we want. I want to move it back, say. So I'm going to select the arrows again and say move back to the camera roll. All 
All right, so I press the button and there it goes. It's back to our uh, camera roll on our phone. It's no longer in our iBridge, as you can see. That's just a copy of it. All right, so now we're going to go to the file manager button. Uh, so this pretty much just allows us to manage our files like it says. Uh, we can delete stuff, move stuff around if we want, and that's about all this is. So it's like plugging your iBridge into your um, computer. All right, so now we're going to go back out here and we're going to go down to content viewer. So this pretty much what it says allows you to view your content that you have on your i uh bridge here. So we have all our photos here that I have on it. And we go back here. Oh yeah, so there's the photo that I put on it. All the photos here that I have on the So then we can go to the music. So it's pretty much a music player for all the music that you put from your computer onto your iBridge. You can't transfer music from your phone to your iBridge, we can transfer it from your computer to your iBridge. So this allows you to view all of that. Alright, so we have movies as well here. So we can go to uh, all the movies you put on your phone. So say you going on a long road trip, you want to put a movie on your phone, you don't have enough room, you can put it on the iBridge and watch it through here. Alright, then we can also go to Documents. So you can store on your iBridge, you can store uh, documents on your phones. So Word documents, uh, PowerPoints, Excel documents. You can't edit them because it's not an editor, but you can view them um, on your iBridge and store them here as well. Alright, so we go back here, and then the last one is Settings. Obviously, there's just a bunch of settings. Nothing really I have to go over. You can explore it yourself once you, uh, if you get this. Overall, it's a pretty nice design. I couldn't use it with my life-proof case that I have. Uh, it wouldn't fit, uh, but so I just took the case off and it works fine. You can take this. Oh, dropped it. You can take this guy here, put it over the top. Just have it. It's not that uncomfortable to hold, honestly. It's, it doesn't really affect it at all. It's kind of nice, actually. Give you a little grip. Um, so yeah, it's obviously not the most. Uh, thin thing, but other things that I've seen, uh, this is by far the most, uh, the best designed uh, one. So, all right, guys. So once again, this is the Leaf iBridge Mobile Memory. Uh, it is available at leafco.com/ibridge. Uh, there's 16. 32, 64, 128, and 256 gigabyte versions, and it's also available Best Buy and pretty much anywhere that you can buy electronics. Um, I got mine on sale for Black Friday for about 60 bucks uh, at Best Buy, so that's a pretty good deal. Um, I thoroughly enjoy it as of right now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, give it a like; it really helps it out. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.